And the same applies to the spouse. You know you love them, but you need to say it again and again. Like we got to the food moments ago, and you need to say this food is, mashallah, it's really, really great. Even if the salt is a little bit more. Because sometimes, as I was saying, she spends so much time bringing it in front of us, and we are worried about how it's smelling, number one. And number two is we say, as we taste it, the salt is too much, no? Salt is too much, no? What are you talking about? She just looks at you and her face flops. I've been at it for three hours here, four hours. I've been busy with this for so many months. And what is she going to say? Next time I'll try a bit better, a bit harder. That's if she's a good woman. If not, she'll say, never going to cook this again. <laughs> typical. Never gonna, it's typical. Never going to cook this again. And if you have someone who's very witty, the next time there's salt to be put in, I'll call you to put it. So we need to praise the cooking of our wives. We need to praise their, 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 their dress code, especially. For example, I can let you know something that has worked for some people. Where you find some women, you know, they don't like to dress appropriately. So the husband sometimes wants to tell them something. There are two, three ways of doing it. You can either say, this is very bad. I don't want you to wear this. And you know, you might have a response. But if you want a response from the heart, what you do is, you tell them, the other dress looked much better than this. You see, so you are praising one thing and that praise is not there when the other thing is there. So you have told them in a way that this is what I really love. And go beyond the limits in praise. That's your wife, don't worry. You can say whatever you want to. Mashallah, in terms of goodness. Like the food, you, when you eat, even if it is a little bit this way, that way, just praise it, mashallah, see what it is. Praise the effort at least, mashallah, you know. Let me tell you what has happened once. They say the Imam in the masjid said, in fact, two things have come to my mind. The Imam in the masjid said, you need to praise the cooking of your wife, just like I said now. So the man went home and he had this meal and he was looking at it and looking at his wife and smiling and all happy, mashallah, and excited and everything. And when he finished, he says, oh, it was awesome. And the wife says, what? I've been cooking for you for 21 years. You never said that. Today when the food came from the neighbor, you want to say it was awesome. So he says, oh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't know. <laughs> it's like the other one, the Imam, he, he was telling the people, you know, he gave them advice in the masjid about their wives that look, you need to do this and do that. So the man goes home very happy. He tells his wife, darling, I'd like to carry you today. Oh, wow. Oh, I hope I'm not too heavy, darling. You know? So anyway, he carries his wife, mashallah, and he's carrying. What makes you do this, my beloved? What's happening here? Oh, the Imam told us, go home and carry your burdens, mashallah. <laughs> I'm carrying my burden, mashallah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar.